Hey everyone, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be working on this striped sweater dress. I'll be making a small, but there also includes sizes X small to 3X large in this tutorial and also in the written pattern that I have linked down below if you're interested. But here are the supplies you'll be needing. So getting started on our bottom border, I have my main color yarn with my 5.5 millimeter hook. So we're first going to begin with a slip knot as you normally would. And you can do this any way you would like. Now from here, you want to make a chain of 14 and you can make this chain however long you would want your border to be, but I'm going to make a chain of 14 and to make a chain, you just want to yarn over, pull through. Again, just yarn over and pull through until you have 14. After you have your 14 chains, we're gonna begin on row one. So skipping this first chain and inserting our hook into this second chain, we're going to be single crocheting into each chain across. To a single crochet, you want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, pull through two. Doing this again, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And now continue to single crochet into each of these chains. Now once you have made it to the end of this single crochet row, you want to chain one and turn your work around. That chain one never counts as a stitch for the rest of the pattern. So moving on to row two, skipping the first turning chain and inserting a hook into this first stitch, we're going to single crochet. Now into the next stitches until we have one stitch remaining at the end of a row, we're going to work back bar single crochets. To work a back bar single crochet, instead of inserting your hook into both of these loops, we're only gonna insert our hook into the back bar. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that back bar into, or into that back loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Doing this again, insert your hook only into that back bar, pull through, pull through two, and now you want to work these back bar single crochets into each stitch across until one stitch remains. And after you have one stitch at the end of your row, you want to work one regular single crochet. After that, chain one and turn your work around. Again, that chain one does not count as your first stitch. So now to continue this pattern, you want to repeat row two with those back bar single crochets until you have a total of 36 rows. But since this video contains sizes X small to 3X large, the amount of rows you'll be making for each size is gonna be indicated right on the side. But since I am making a size small, I'm going to make 36 rows in total. So I'm going to finish working up my bottom border and then I'm going to see you guys back for the next steps. So I have just finished my bottom border. I worked 36 rows with these back bar single crochets. And now that we have this piece, we're now going to move on to the front panel, but you do not want to cut and fasten off just yet. We're actually gonna work the front panel by working across the edge from here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So now moving on to the front panel, 
I'm first going to chain one. Now beginning into this very first row, we're going to work one half double crochet. To work a half double crochet, you want to yarn over, insert your hook into this very first row, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through all three. Now looking at the next row, we're going to work two half double crochets into one row. So to do that again, you want to yarn over, Insert your hook into that row, pull through, pull through three. Now going back into the same row, we're going to work another half double crochet. Just like this, so you, so you should have worked one half double crochet, two half double crochets. Into the next row, work one half double crochet, just like this. And then into the next row, work two half double crochets into the same row. So that is one. Back into that same space, work another. Now to finish our foundation row for our front panel, you want to, you want to continue working one half double crochet and then two half double crochets and one row into each row all the way down until you have reached the end. So I'm going to go across here and I'm going to meet you back once I have reached this point. So I have just finished working across with that foundation foundation row with these increases. And now once you reach the end, you just want to chain one and turn your work around. Now beginning on row one, it, it is a very easy row. You want to skip this first turning chain and inserting our hook into this first stitch. We're simply going to half double crochet into each stitch until you reach the end of your row. Once you reach the end, just chain one and turn your work around. So as you can see, I have finished up row one, working a half double crochet into each stitch across. And now that I reach the end, I'm just going to chain one, turn my work around. And so now to continue this pattern, you want to repeat row one with those regular half double crochets until you have a total of five rows and that's gonna go for all sizes. So I'm going to work up four more rows of half double crochets and then I'm going to see you guys back to change our color. So I have just finished working up my five rows with these half double crochets. And now moving on to row six, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch across until we have one stitch remaining at the end. And then into this last stitch, I'm gonna show you how to change a color to our accent color. But I'm going to quickly work across with my half double crochets and then I'm gonna meet you back once I reach the end. So I have just made it to the end of row six with these half double crochets. And now I have one stitch at the end remaining. And to this last stitch, we're gonna change our color to the accent color. So to change color, you want to yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, yarn over again. You should have three loops on your hook. Now yarn over with your accent color and then just pull through those three loops and then you can cut off your, your last color later. So now with your accent color, chain one, turn your work around. And now what we're gonna do with our new color is the same thing that we were doing before. So we're gonna work 10 more rows until we have a total of 16 rows with our accent color. So I'm going to be back here once I am all done with my 16 rows with this new color. And then I'm going to show you guys the next steps. So now this is what my work is looking like after I've done 16 rows in total for our front panel. 
you should have basically done six rows for our main color and then 10 rows with our accent color. So now moving on to row 17, we're gonna change color back to our main color. So beginning into this first stitch, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch all the way along our row until we have one stitch at the end remaining. And then into this last stitch, I'm gonna show you how to change color one more time. I'm going to quickly go over that and then I will see you guys back once I have reached this point. So I have just finished working across my row for row 17. And as I said before, into this last stitch, we're going to change our color to the main color. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that last stitch, pull up a loop, grab the main color yarn, then pull through all three loops. Now with our new color yarn, you want to chain one and turn your work around. But to continue this pattern with our new color yarn, you want to work those regular half double crochet rows until you have a total of 33 rows. So I'm going to work up those 33 rows and then I'm going to see you guys back once I am all done. So I have just finished working the back panel. Once I finished my 33 rows, we did these rows with our main color. I did cut and fasten off once I reached the end. And so now that our back panel is all done, we're going to set this aside and we're gonna get started on the front panel, which is pretty similar to the back panel. It's just we're gonna be doing the V neck, of course. So now getting started on the front panel, you first want to repeat all steps for the bottom border and repeat all steps for the front panel until you have 20 rows. So for the back panel, we had a total of 33 rows, but for the front panel, you just want to repeat all steps until you have 20 rows in total. And now from here, we, we're not going to cut and fasten off. We're actually going to move it directly to working our first shoulder strap. So let's get started on that. So now getting started on the first shoulder strap, I've already chained and turned my work around. Now beginning on row one, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch, except we're only gonna work into 25 stitches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the way till I have 25 stitches, and then I'm gonna meet you back once I am there. So I have just finished working half double crochets into 25 stitches. Now into the next two stitches, we're gonna be doing a decrease. To do a decrease, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through all four, just like this. Now from this point, chain one and turn your work. So now moving on to row two, into this first two stitches, we're gonna work another decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the four. Now you just want to half double crochet into each stitch across until the end. Now once you've reached the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. Now moving on to row three, 
And to this first stitch, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch across until you have two stitches at the end of your row. And to these last two stitches, I'm going to show you how to decrease one more time. And now once you have worked all the way down your row until you have two stitches at the end, we're going to do another decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through four, chain one and turn your work around. But to continue our first shoulder strap, you want to repeat alternating row two and row three until you have a total of 13 rows for your shoulder strap. So I'm going to go ahead, work up my 13 rows, and then I'm gonna meet you guys back once I am all done. So I have just finished working my 13 rows for my first shoulder strap. I repeated row two and row three, which basically means that you should have been decreasing on one side of your work, while the other side stayed a nice, clean, straight edge. But now that we have our first shoulder strap all done, we're gonna move on to working the second shoulder strap, which is pretty much the same thing, it's just a little bit different. So let's get started on that. So now beginning on our second shoulder strap, I'm first gonna make a slip knot. And now all you want to do here is just insert your hook into the next unworked stitch. So this is the first work stitch of our, of our first shoulder strap. So you just want to insert your hook into that next stitch. After you have done this, you want to yarn over, pull through everything for a slip stitch to secure. Now from here, we're going to begin on row one. So you first want to chain one and turn your work around. Now from here, we're going to be working a decrease into the first two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this first stitch that we slip stitched into, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all four. Now from here, you just want to half double crochet into each stitch across until the end of your row. And once you have made it to the end of your row, chain one and turn your work around. Now moving on to row two, into this first stitch, we're going to half double crochet into each stitch across until we have two stitches at the end of your row remaining. And so once I have two stitches at the end of my row, you want to go ahead and decrease. Chain one and turn your work. Now moving on to row three and to this first stitch, we're going to decrease once again. After that decrease, half double crochet into each stitch across. And so after you have completed row three, same thing that we did with our first shoulder strap, you want to repeat row two and row three with those decreased rows until you have a total of 13 rows for your second shoulder strap. So I'm going to work up my 13 rows and then I'm going to see you guys back to cut and fasten off once again.
So now this is what my front panel is looking like after I have both of these shoulder straps. I did cut and fasten off once I reached the end. And now this completes our entire front panel. Now we're going to grab our front and back panels and then we're going to get started on seaming the two panels together. So let's jump on to working those steps. So now moving on with the seaming of our two panels, as you can see, I have placed the front panel on top of our back panel and you do want the wrong side facing you when we seam. So over here, I have my tapestry needle with some yarn. And now we're now what we're going to do first is I'm going to turn my two panels to the side and beginning into this very bottom corner, we're going to whip stitch all the way up the side until you have nine inches from the top remaining. And these nine inches from the top is gonna to leave room for our armhole. So just to show you how to whip stitch, I'm going to first take my tapestry needle, insert it through both of the panels and pull straight through Now into the next two stitches, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert my hook through both of these stitches, pull straight through. Coming around again into the next two stitches, inserting my tapestry needle, pulling through. So now once again, you just want to whip stitch just as I am doing here all the way up the side until you have nine stitches from the top remaining. So now, as you can see, I have just finished whip stitching all the way up my side until I have nine stitches from the top remaining. Now, once you have finished one side, you can cut and fasten off. And then you do want to do this for the opposite side as well. Just be getting into this very bottom corner, whip stitch all the way up the side until nine inches from the top. And then after you've done both of your sides, the last step to our seaming process would just be to seam together these little two shoulder straps. So it's only going to be a few inches across. So I'm going to do the opposite side and then both of my shoulder straps. And then I'm going to see you guys back for the next steps. So guys, I have made it back here with my bodice all seamed up. I did both of the sides and both of my shoulder straps as well. And once I was done with everything, I just flipped my sweater inside out so that all the seams are going to be hidden. So now that we have our main bodice all seamed up, we're now gonna move on to working the armhole border over here. So now let's just move on with those steps. So now getting started on the border, I have my accent color. I'm going to make a slip knot. And once you have your slip knot, you want to insert your hook right into the seam of your work. Slip stitch to secure, so yarn over, pull through everything, just to secure that. Now beginning on the foundation row, we're going to chain one, now into this very first row, we're going to work one single crochet. Into the next row, we're going to work two single crochets into that same row. So this is my first single crochet. Here's the second single crochet. Now looking at the next row, we're going to work one single crochet. And then work two single crochets into the next row. That's one, two. And now repeat this pattern, working one single crochet and then two single crochets into the next row, into each row all the way around until you have reached the end. And then I'm going to meet you guys back to show you what's next.
So I am back here and I have just finished working the single crochets all the way around my armhole. Now to join this foundation row, you want to slip stitch into this first stitch, just like this. And now from this point, we're going to make a chain of seven. After you have made your chain of seven, we're going to start on row one. So for row one, beginning into the second chain, you want to single crochet into each of these chains. Now once you have finished working these single crochets into these six chains, to join the row to our armhole, we're going to slip stitch up two. So into this first side stitch, I'm going to slip stitch up one, and then slip stitch up two. And these two slip stitches do not count as stitches. From here, just turn your work around. So now beginning on a row two into this first stitch, we're going to back bar single crochet into each stitch across until one stitch remains. So once again, instead of going through both of these loops, you just wanna insert your hook only into this back loop or back bar, pull through, pull through two, and then just do this into each stitch across. Once you have one stitch remaining, into this last stitch, work one regular single crochet. Just like this, chain one, turn your work around. Now moving on to row three, into this first stitch, we're going to single crochet. From here, back bar single crochet into each stitch until the end of your row. And then once you have made it to the end of your row, just as we did for row one, you want to slip stitch up two side stitches. So into this first side stitch, I'm going to slip stitch up one. Into the next one, slip stitch up two. And then you can go ahead and turn your work around. So this border is really simple. All you wanna do is just repeat alternating row two and row three with these back bar single crochets until you've worked all the way around your armhole to form your border. So I'm going to work up my border and then I'm gonna meet you guys back to seam the two edges up. So I have just finished working my border all the way around my armhole. And then I did cut and fasten off. I made sure to leave a really long tail because we're gonna use this tail in our tapestry needle to seam up the two edges. It's only about two inches long. But that is the last step to our border. I'm just going to take my tapestry needle, seam along the two edges, and then I'm going to see you guys back for the next step. So I have just finished quickly seaming up my border for the armhole. And now this is all done. You of course want to repeat this for the opposite side as well, which I have already completed as you can see. And that is all we're gonna do for the borders for our sleeves. From here, we're going to move directly to working the collar over here. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So now getting started on the collar, this is really easy. I'm going to make a slip knot with my accent color. From here, chain two, just like this. Beginning on row one, we're going to do an increase into the second chain, so we're gonna work two single crochets. So here's one single crochet, and then two single crochets chain one turn your work around moving on to row two into this first stitch we're going to work two back bar we're going to work two back bar single crochets sorry it's so going to work one and then into that same stitch two and then back bar single crochet into that last stitch from here chain one turn your work around 
So now moving on to row three, we're going to back bar single crochet into two stitches. So here's one and then two. Now into this last stitch, we're gonna do another increase. So back bar single crochet twice into this last stitch. Just like this, chain one, turn your work around. Now you probably can see the pattern here. We're basically going to be increasing on one side. So into this first stitch, we're going to do another increase. So work two back bar single crochets. And then back bar single crochet in each stitch across after that. Chain one, turn your work around. Now we're going to do the same thing but in the opposite direction. So back bar single crochet into each stitch across until one stitch remains. And then into this last stitch, work two back bar single crochets for an increase. So the two rows we're going to be alternating is where we're going to increase into the first stitch of one row and then for the next row we're going to increase into the last stitch. So repeat those two rows for our increases and so you have a total of 12 rows. So that's going to be worked up pretty quickly. So I'm going to meet you guys back just in a moment. So now I have 12 rows in total with the increases. As I mentioned, you should have increased basically on one side of your work every row, while the other side stayed a straight edge, as you can see. Now from row 13 to row 52, we're just going to work regular back bar single crochet rows, so we're not going to do any creases at all. Just to show you what that would look like, it's just starting into this first stitch, back bar single crochet into each stitch across, chain one, turn your work around. And as I said, you just want to repeat row 13 until you have a total of 52 rows. And after I finish my 52 rows, I'm going to show you guys how to do the decreases when I come back. So this is what my collar is looking like after 52 rows. This is where we did the 12 rows of increases, and then now we did a total of 52 rows. We're not yet done with our work. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do pretty much the opposite of what we did on this side. Instead of doing increases, we're gonna do decreases. So I'm gonna chain one, turn my work around. Now beginning into this first stitch, we're going to back bar single crochet into each stitch across until you have two stitches remaining. Once you have two stitches remaining at the end of your row, we're going to work a single crochet decrease. So just insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three chain one, turn your work around. Moving on to row 54. Into this first row, we're gonna do another decrease. So again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three, just like this, and then simply back bar or back loop, single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Then once you reach the end, chain one, turn your work around. And now the rest of our collar is really straightforward. You just want to repeat those last two decrease rows, which is gonna be row 53 and row 54, until you have a total of 64 rows. So I'm going to finish working up my decrease rows until I have a total of 64 rows. Then I'm going to meet you guys back to attach the collar to our bodice.
So I have just finished up all the rows for my collar. We did our increases and then our decreases. And I did cut and fasten off once I reached the end. And now that we have our collar, we can now grab our bodice, which I have right over here. Now we're simply just going to attach the collar to our bodice. So to attach the collar, you just want to put the very first point over here. Then just wrap it around evenly around the head hole as you normally would. And then basically you just want to whip stitch everything in place all the way around the base to attach the collar to the bodice. So that seems really easy to do. I'm just going to quickly work around the head hole and then I'm going to meet you guys back. And that will basically be the end of our project. So I have just finished attaching the collar to the bodice and then I folded it over and this is what it is looking like. So now that our collar is all done, that is pretty much the end of our project. The last thing you would need to do is just weave in all of your loose ends. But that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Bye! If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be super helpful if you left a positive review. But that's all guys. Bye!